And welcome back to Cigar Times. <laughs> <laughs> the heck was that? I, I don't know. It was a bottle. It shouldn't be on the table. Uh, cigar Time, your friendly neighborhood TV show all about premium cigars. Oh, look. I you forgot. An E.P. Carrillo. Yeah, E.P. Oh. Carrillo cup. I figured I'd, I'd put it on the show since we're doing, today we're doing E.P. Carrillo. Or Carrillo, however he says his name. Carrillo. 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 Something like that. So That is Ernesto. Ernesto. Perez Carrillo. The godfather of the boutique cigar. Yeah. The genius behind uh, La Gloria Cabano originally. And uh, after he left General, he went and started his own company. And he started off a little slow, but since then he has had more number one cigars than anybody. Thing. Yeah, well, he had the, the couple, uh, 2014, I think, he had the La Historia, which was number two. Right. But the number one cigar that year was a Cuban cigar. So. Right. So. Uh, and then the Encore. Two, y two years ago, we had the Encore was number one. And then last year? Was it last year? No, 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 last year? Two, no. Three, three years ago was the Encore, the Encore was number one. Right. Two then, years. Two, right. Oh, one, year. one year ago, um, right. it was he the had, Pledge. He had the Pledge. He had two of the, in, two number ones in three years. Yeah, and that's a record. Yeah, so I and think the pledge, the pledge was. I great. bet you Padron and Fuente might be the only other yeah, two companies yeah. that have had a number one. And I don't, I, I, I don't even know that Fuente has. I know Padron has. Padron's been in the top. There's one year they were not in the top five, and they were number six. That's they've been in the top five really? every single year. Yeah. Well, it's the best, it is the best cigar made, so, yeah. in my opinion. So we decided to do E.P. Carrillo because yes. we're having an event in our Richboro store uh, this Friday. Mm -hmm. So we, we thought we'd review and try their cigars. Uh, however, we don't know what these cigars are. Yeah. Um, so as part of the event, Piz, if you want to get a close-up of this, we're, if you buy a box of 10 or mix and match 10, you're going to get a five-pack from E.P. Carrillo. Um, and what's in these, th these cigars, we don't know what the blends are or anything, but they are projects that Ernie is actually working on. Yes. So these are, so these are future cigars that you'll see on, I mean, who knows, one of them could be another number one. Yeah. Could be. Um, so we thought it was a cool thing. So basically, I mean, it's a great deal if you're buying, buying 10, you wanna see this? No, on the back. It's oh. a picture of Ernie and his family, oh, okay. his, his son and his daughter. So basically if you company. buy 10, you're getting five free. So I just that's and an incredible deal on my absolutely so glare. Yeah, I'll get a close up after. Okay. So yeah. What was it that Ernie told our sales? Rep I can't about say it on television. <laughs> <laughs> I had to just word, smoke right? it. He was said it just was, was the bottom just, line. Just bleep and smoke the cigars. <laughs> friggin'. Yeah. Something like that. But well, wouldn't have been wouldn't have been cracking. Friggin'. Just crap and smoke them. Yeah. So. I've had these cigars. I have too. And they're some of them are good and some of them are not, in my opinion. But not that they're not good. They're just well, they're projects. So I mean, yeah, they're they, yeah. He could, Who knows? They could sit around and rate this, and they could tweak it. Like, yeah, you right. know what? We need an extra leaf of uh, Leggero or something. Well, well if they <laughs> say Leggero, they have no business blending. That's it. exactly right. I don't think Ernie would ever say Leggero. Probably this has not. a nice. Uh, I've been in his. I actually sat in his office before. Yeah. yeah, it was it was I pretty cool. I'm like, I was there, really yeah. Oh yeah, over King of Prussia. No. Oh really? Down in the Dominican. Well, that's right. When, when he was working with General. When Kenny and I went down for with General, mm -hmm. it was right after he sold the label to them, uh -huh. and at the going away dinner they threw for us, he was there. So I sat down and talked to him for a little while and had he's a drink a, with him. He's great a great guy. Renaissance man. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he he's a drummer. Mm -hmm. And we we heard him uh, we're at one of the general events at, uh, in Vegas. He was playing, um, and I think he's he's in the cigar, he's in the blender Hall of, Hall Fame, of Fame, I believe. I think there's seven of them, and I, I'm not going to get them all right, but Ernie's one of them. Who else is in that? Do you know? Carlito, uh, Padron, I think Jose Cejas, I think Benji. I, I think I was Benji. Yeah, Benji. Um, Frank Lanaza, was he in that? Casada, I think Manuel Casada. I don't know if Lanaza, he should be, but I don't know if he is. Hmm. 
Paul, Paul, Major. Paul Major. Somehow I didn't make it into the <laughs> Hall of Fame. Never got that every, acknowledgement. Every year he gets honorable mentions. Yeah, he yeah. Does. <laughs> No more like dishonor. <laughs> I wasn't going there. I'm trying to give him some props. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so while, while, while don't, we've got a whole bunch of stuff that's coming up, so... So yeah, I got it. So you guys, you know, get your first, develop your first impressions while I go through these. So, I mentioned Friday in Richboro from four to eight with EPC. Tomorrow, right here in in Horsham, we're doing an event uh, from three to seven with Esteban Carreras. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be deals. Uh, they're going to have sandwiches here for people, so it should be. A and there's going to be the Crooked Eye Brewery oh, doing sampling you. and deals yeah. on their on their beers. Correct. Yep. Um, then next week. Uh, next Thursday uh, for Cinco de Mayo, and fr uh, AJ Fernandez is going to, not AJ, but the company is going to be there with deals, and Frazier from 11 to 3, and then Westchester from 4 to 7. Um, and the following day in Colmar, which is Friday from 4 to 8, we're going to have AJ deals, uh, we're going to have live music, Cuba Libres, uh, and then it's Derby Day in Doylestown on Saturday from uh I don't know, five to eight, I guess. Um, we'll have uh, specials on Viaje, uh, live music, mint juleps, and um, for those of you who've been to the uh, some of the events where we've, we've done the live music and drinks, it was fantastic. I mean, it was a blast. Are I mean, they are they outside or are they inside? Inside, uh, although depending on the weather. Depending on the weather, maybe uh, it, it depends. I mean, there's really no place to do it in, in calmer outside, but in Doylestown, it's possible, but. It's one of those things where I'll play it by ear, based mm -hmm. on weather and based on, you know, I don't want to have the music outside if everybody's hanging out inside kind of thing. I hear and you said mint juleps? Yeah. yeah for for those of you that don't know, mint juleps do involve bourbon. Yes. And you I know think what? that's an important point. Thank you for, you know, what that, and uh, it actually is because somebody Very mentioned important. it and I'm like, who, nobody's, mint juleps? I'm like, nobody. And they're like, it's bourbon based. I'm like, it is? <laughs> I didn't know. And I'm like, oh, well, all right then. It's Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, good point. <laughs> it's Kentucky. What else would they use? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's what a that's drink the was for. drink of yeah. the Kentucky Derby. But it's yeah. so funny you said that because I had the same reaction. I'm like, mint juleps. I just, I, you know what I picture is those, those after dinner mints. Or, you know, those <laughs> well, no, you, you, whenever what you I, see it on TV, it's got the, the mint leaves hanging off yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe a little an umbrella, you know. Yeah. yeah, it just doesn't it look doesn't like it. The ladies, the ladies so at the room. It can be a real drink. We have a we have a guy who's a member there, and he was a what did he say? A mixologist. He's a yeah. There's a, that's uh, anybody who pretends bars a mixologist, but he said he was his specialty was these was craft drinks. So he's he's going to be there. Um, it'll be fun. The, all, all the stuff's going to be fun. Like and we got a ton of stuff going on in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Who did, did you go through all of them? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, wow. Moose, kick it off. What do you think? I know it's early on. It's but early on, but right now, it's it's very smooth. It's got a little bit of uh, earthiness to it, and in my personal opinion, it's probably the best EPC that I've ever had. Really? Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's powerful. What sucks statement. is you don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, I don't, and you know, don't know if we come to market or not. You know. Yeah, but so yeah, it's, it's good, but you may never have it again. Yes, so I'm going to enjoy it. So y'all shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I'm you go to the event, you can go to the event. I'm going to sit yeah. here and enjoy. <laughs> hey, it's a damn good cigar so far. Paul, I'm also enjoying mine a lot. Um, it's earthy, also. I don't know if we have the same thing or not, no, but no, they're, all they're, all they're all different. They're all different. It's earthy, but it's also got some spice at the front of the tongue, just a little tingle. Obviously, I'm just into the cigar, so yeah. it's going to go through a lot of change, I'm sure. Roscoe? Well, I thought you were going to go next. Yeah. Um, I also will, I will echo what everybody else said in the earthiness part. I'm getting a, a little bit of spice, but it's some kind of a baking spice that I don't know what it is. And, and the reason I'm saying it's baking spice is for whatever reason I'm thinking about, as I'm smoking this, I'm, it reminds me of cooking. So mm. I'm like, I, maybe nutmeg. Are you hungry? I don't know. Do, do, do you eat a lot of baked goods? No. 
Because sure. the last couple of weeks, the last couple of weeks, you keep talking about a baking spice. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, it could be. I mean, I keep using that that thing I have, um, the but like the twenty seven yeah. or thirty to thirty different spices, and I I keep trying to use it. So maybe I don't know. Maybe my I'm improving my palate or something. I, or, or I'm improving my not my palate, but my ability to identify what I'm tasting. But I, I'm just it just. I'm sitting here smoking. I mean, last week I think I said it remind, reminded me of sitting in a dentist chair. So, <laughs> but this it does. It, it reminds me of of baking or cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. And I don't know exactly which flavor it is. It could be nutmeg. It could be a pumpkin spice. Cinnamon. Could be. It could be cinnamon. I'm, I'm cinna not enough cinnamon will also give it a peppery feel. Yep. <coughs> I mean, when they make. Fireball and all that, those, those kind of booze. This they just, one they doesn't just dunk, taste they just dump like a lot of cinnamon in it. Yeah. And, it and they get heat they from get that. He, they get heat from that. Hmm. They don't use, like, you know, peppers or anything like that. They use cinnamon. Well, mine is, I have the torpedo. You guys don't have a torpedo. Yours looks oh, darker. Mine's special. a torpedo. Yeah, this is, looks like a Maduro. I can't, you know, specifically say it. Just, it's just a dark cigar. It looks like a Maduro, and I do get a sweet Maduro taste from it, so that's what I'm thinking. Do you think it's a, is uh, that a broadleaf Maduro, you think, or? It looks, it's it looks pretty big. Mine looks more like, I think mine's more, mine's Maduro, I think it's San Andreas. Could be, yours is definitely darker. But just because it's more matted. Darker and it's, it's matted and it's. The wrapper. Yeah, it's got the, um, it's got veins. Come on. Veins. What the hell bumps? Come on. Veins. No. Oh. Tooth. Tooth. Good Lord. I'm losing it, man. Yeah, it's toothy. That could so be a very dark camel in tuna. Uh, I doubt that. Well, just judging by what you had to say about the flavor. Yeah, but I, who knows? Mine's a little. <laughs> Somebody knows. Mine's a, a little more. Yeah, already knows. That's too veiny for Cameroon. Cameroons are some of are very veiny. Mm. Um, my mine is is very sweet. Uh, I, I get a very sweet tobacco taste from it. And and I, it's I, almost definitely a Maduro. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting um, some strength and a lot of sweetness through the retro hail. So this is a little, uh, this is a little probably a little fuller body than nobody said anything about strength. So I would assume that they it's not very full bodied, but this one, this one is. I'd I call it a straight I, medium. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it about body or strength. Too. I'm talking about strength, not body. Yeah, I know it's good. They're interchangeable. It can be. This one, this one's going to be medium strength, but I think it's more of a full body because it's it's coating my entire palate. <coughs> this one puts out a boatload of smoke, man. No kidding. <laughs> hmm. well, wow. I will say this one's well constructed. It's burning very well. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. well, Ernie. Yeah. Not all cigars do that. I mean, everybody. I don't care who they are. They get clunkers. <laughs> well, it depends yeah. on the roller. Yeah, I, I guess. But um, he's in a bad mood. Did you? Uh, oh, this was this was before he had his own. You you met him before he had his own company. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I was going to ask. He was still be, He was still under part, no compete. He was still yeah under that no compete thing. Okay. And it was 05. He had just sold the brand to General, and they had him there as an, one of their ambassadors. Gotcha. Um, it was when I was there. I was with uh, he makes some stuff for Caldwell, so I was there with Caldwell. Unfortunately, Ernie wasn't there. Um, but fact, talk about clean. The factory was spotless. Mm -hmm. I mean, spotless. And we we were there just as they were finishing up the the, the shift. Uh, but the coolest part was we got to go into the, the his aging room. And you 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 think the one that you think uh, Christians was cool? Yeah. Oh my God. Tiled was, floor. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mo like a mosaic yes, tile floor. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And the, the shelving was fancy carved stuff. It wasn't yeah, just. Yeah, it was. It was amazing, and just but but all of you're just ensconced with cigars, yeah. and it, it was cool because it. And, and I, I bring up that I was in his office because I'm like I'm, I'm like in a legends. I'm sitting here like with my feet on the table in a legends office. Like I was just I just thought it was so cool. So it would be like you if you were like in, in Pete Rose's office. No, <laughs> not at all. He's a legend. <laughs> He's not a legend. He's a legend. He's legendary. Oh, Rafael Palmero, then. There you go. Yeah, in the Steroid Hall of Fame. A guy who could actually play. No, I don't stop it! I don't you know may not like the guy, else, but you can't but say he doesn't play. the strength on this is picking up quickly. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I'm too busy arguing with Robin. He's not He's not <laughs> biting. No, I'm not. Jerk. <laughs> 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 so. Whoever we 
saw him sitting by himself at the table. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Looking, looking pathetic. Please yeah. tell up Pete Rose, please come see me. I would like to point out there is no over under going on. Yeah, in this me cigar. neither. If we weighed it, I think you would find it to be fully packed. Yeah. Now, Paul, you just interrupted our comment. Are you saying that what we were saying was not germane to this conversation? It's not germane. It to was anything. the conversation. I just wanted to use that It word. wasn't very germane, germane to I'm anything. The whole yeah, day I've been trying to use that word. <laughs> is that your word, word of the day? Word of the day. I'm going to try and use, and I'm going to try a new word every day. Did that I know I'll get tired of it after that like, tomorrow. Tongue tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I used Echo. Well, that's yeah. the context was pretty good. Yeah. Really, really, really. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I'm this really enjoying this for, cigar for, for years. Just, for years, my dad told me that Lou Gehrig's disease would just stand in front of a microphone and you get an echo back. <laughs> Did you ever see that when he, when he did his yeah, announcement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, today, 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 yeah. I feel. <laughs> Oh so that was <laughs> <laughs> I, I I now know that's not what it is. Yeah, but I was yeah. a kid. <laughs> if this it wasn't evil, it would be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, this my, is picking up the sweetness. Sense of humor. The sweetness department. Yeah, it, my tongue is tingling. It's not. It doesn't feel as when I say spicy. It's not that pepper and that or you know Mexican food spice or anything like that. Um, it's almost like a. Yeah, I said baking spice, but like kind of a sweet. It's not nutmeg, but along that line, what's a, what's another good sweet spice? I, I mentioned all spice, the coriander. That's more savory. No, than it's not sweet. coriander. <laughs> sugar. <laughs> yeah, sugar. <laughs> Splenda. <laughs> is, is that in your spice chart? Um, but it's it's fun. So it, I sit here and drink my coffee with sugar in the raw. Right. Yeah. In the raw. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned the coriander because I, I and this goes back to something Moose said months ago that you it was actually you know it was the show when you first retrohaled and mm -hmm. you said you were picking up coriander. I'm like I don't even know what that coriander is. And now I'm like now I'm like I, actually I, I feel like I'm always tasting it because it was it has like this. Not acidic, but almost like a sour, at mm -hmm. least aroma to it. And whenever I have a cigar that's identified as metallic, I, I, I'm tasting it here. I'm thinking coriander. Something I would suggest if you're going to continue doing that is that you actually cook with these spices. Because when you cook with the spices, it actually changes the flavor. Uh -huh. So you, you, what you're tasting now is the raw spice because you're you know yeah. going like this. Cook it with it. And see what the taste is, and some some of the That's things you think idea. some of the, some of the stuff that you think is not sweet might be like sweet. curry. Everybody thinks that you put enough curry and it'll light you up, but it's actually a tad sweet when you cook with. You can it. see that, yeah. Huh. So I've cooked, yeah, I've, I've cooked with curry. Yeah, I think you're right. curry. yeah, yeah. Oh, he said curry. I thought he said curry. Yeah, I don't, she's kind of sweet too. Oh my God! Is that the one with the boombox? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the Julia Child show. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying to educate the people on cigar so smoking. You, for what, for what it's worth, this is germane, by the way. Um, the new coriander is typically in a lot of wheat beers and in a lot of gins. Yeah, a couple things you won't t catch me doing. Well, that's the difference. There was about a five-year period where I was hooked on gin. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was. Thank God you grew out of that. I yeah. was hooked on it once. <laughs> that's all it took. Once. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you enjoying the cigar you're smoking? Yes. Or yeah, I am. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, yes. I'm not paying as much attention to it as I should, considering we're, we're supposed to be reviewing this. Yes. I'm enjoying making fun of people again in the it's, conversation. It's still. It's the flavor profile starting to change a little bit. Is it? Yes. So it's complex. Pleasantly, but it's yeah, it's a little bit complex. And again, uh, it's probably the best DPC I've had. I'm enjoying this and immensely. I I'm I'm liking it better and better. Uh, told you the strength picked up. Now it backed off, and cream is coming on really strong. Mm. So this this cigar is all over the map. This one was in a mine, good mine, in a good mine, way. Mine started off creamy, and now it's changed. And I'm getting a little more. Spice, but mm. I would say a little pepper in the. You know. This is starting to actually. The flavor's still there, but it, my 
it's like almost numbing my tongue, almost like an, an, an absinthe kind really? of thing. Really? Yeah. Huh. Mine's starting to hit my soft palate in the back. It's getting, uh, it feels peppery in the back of my mouth. Um, That's different. It is. It is. It's very different. What do you, uh, of all the stuff that Ernie's made, and we'll stick with mostly stuff he, uh, from the, EPC. The La Gloria. Well, no, you go back to La Gloria or EPC. What do you think your favorite is? I mean, he makes a lot of good stuff. Yes. I know what you're going to say, I think. The Encore. Uh, yes. But I love the Encore. I love that cigar. Any thoughts from you guys? So, I, I mean, Moose, obviously, this is the new one, but. I really like his retro wine, especially the new yeah, ones, yeah, the Maduro. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I've been, since it came out, I've been sort of consistently loving it. Yeah, the mm -hmm. pretty much more good. than anything else from Ernie that I've had. Although I like a lot of stuff he does, obviously, but that one really was a standout for me. Although this is actually really, really good. Huh. What about his, you? I'll his, tell his early stuff, the Maduro. Yeah, um, that's what got me started on the dark cigars and the oh, okay. body stuff. Right. So, you know, he started my journey into that. Although now I'm starting to back away from that stuff and start smoking lighter stuff. Oh, you really? Yeah, my, my palate's changes. There the comes that moment. The full body stuff is starting to kick my butt. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I used to really like the Series R, but it gets to be attractive it, it, after a while. It's yeah. first off the ring gates. So the ring gates are too, too big, and I don't. I, I go back and forth between. Do I like the? Actually, between the three that he got the high ratings. It depends on my mood. Sometimes I like La Historia best. Sometimes right. it's the um, the Pledge, and other times it's the Encore. It also it varies by size, I find. Yeah, the, the yeah. The you know what? And I like the Toro size more than the the uh, whatever. I forget the name of it. More than the whatever the one the which which Pledge got the number one prequel. Prequel. Yes. Yeah. I like the Toro better. They're coming out with a speaking of sizes. They're coming out in the Encore line they're coming out with a new size they're coming out with a straight robusto S straight you regular mean not box press no, it's, or box just press, a regular it's just a regular robusto, robusto yeah huh. it's box press interesting i haven't had it yet but you know it, what's funny is i think that, that would be very good in a robusto yeah the, you say the encore was well, your favorite and it was number one cigar of the year yeah. and just did not sell. It didn't sell. It was I don't understand it. Because every time somebody gets a, a number one rating, everybody wants it. But when the Encore came out, nobody wanted it. It, it's, it doesn't make any sense. But then when the Pledge came out, everybody, it, jumped. everybody jumped yeah, on it. I, I don't know why. They make, I will say it is, the, the Encore is a little milder. Um, it's a little smoother. But... It's got just as much flavor. Yeah, it, it's got a ton of flavor to it. But I think people tend to jump on things that are assumed to be strong right. and get a big rating or, or a, you know, get a cigar of the year. And because people knew it wasn't strong, it just didn't. It's not that it's not strong. As strong. It's not as strong. It's just smooth. Yes. It's like Padron. Padron's a full, they consider it a fuller bodied cigar, but because it's so smooth, you don't, it doesn't like feel it. that way, I, and that's I, exactly what the, the Encore is. I, just, yep. I never, I remember, actually, when we first met, you're like, I, I thought I liked mild cigars, and I was telling you, I don't know, I, I, I smoke Padron, what's that? I mean, yeah. this, is, this is going back 17, 18 years. And you were telling me, oh, that's, oh, that's, a, that's a strong cigar. I'm did you have hair back then? Yeah, I he did. did. I'm like, I, I never, I never <laughs> thought, I never thought, th at least the Thousand Series was really f strong. Now the 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 sixty fours well the twenty six is definitely I, I that's find a full that's body I find that strong, but the sixty fours I still say it's more of a medium. It's it's because it's so smooth. Maybe I mean I guess th and that's how they marketed the uh, the Oliva V is like com like really full strength but so smooth you don't even notice it. Right. Um, so yeah that's, maybe that's now one I, of my now go to cigars these days the Oliva, I, the Oliva V's. Yeah, actually. I love those. Yeah yeah. The uh, 135th anniversary Oliva ruined me. Yeah. For any other Oliva. That's the problem. It's a combination of the V and the Milanio. Well, even though it's a, the Milanio is a V, it has the strength and everything of the of the regular V, but the smoothness of the Milanio, and it's and the that combination, combination is, is so fantastic. good. Fantastic. I know. Milanio is great. It, it's really good. Um, now, when I say I like the Encore better, 
It's only slightly better. Mm -hmm. The the pledge uh, and and the uh, last prequel. Story, yeah. The the other yeah and the last, last story. story yeah. They're both fantastic cigars. Well, the 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 last story is very different than the other two. Yes. The, oh yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The the pledge and the and the encore are similar, more similar, but the yeah. last story is very. It's different. an outlier. Yeah, of it's, those it's three. The Santa, it's got and the San we also it's have um, San Andreas. San Andreas. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. When we uh, at the events, this we is a they, good there are they have three packs. It's called their trilogy. Yes. And they have one of each cigar. They have one encore, one pledge, and one La Historia in the in the box. So it's three cigars. I think it's less than forty bucks. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, it is. So you can get all three of those cigars and taste it taste it for yourself. I, it's really really good. All three of them are. Um, so all right, you want to rate your cigar? We have, we don't have much time left. Um, yeah, first remember this Friday, uh, four to eight EPC. Tomorrow oh, here in Horsham, yeah. Esteban Carrera. Next week AJ in Fraser on Thursday from eleven to three. Westchester from. Four to seven, AJ and Colmar Friday four to eight, and Derby Day in Doylestown on Saturday five to eight. So I'm going to give this a nine point zero. Okay. Uh, I like the cigar. Yeah. I'm really dying to try Nooses. Yeah. I'm going to do that <laughs> when I get back. Yeah. Nine point seven five. Wow. 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 That's the highest rating I think you've ever given. I, I think it is. Yes. Wow. Except for a natural break. <laughs> <laughs> I guess price figures into that. Uh, no, not at all, really. <laughs> and that's what I like. Nobody knows what these prices are. So yeah, you're yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah. straight for you those, 10, for those of you who price. really want to figure out which one Moose is, it was the ring gauges on these are all similar, but I gave Moose the biggest ring gauge because yeah. I think that's more your style. So mm -hmm. whatever one is the biggest ring gauge is the one Moose is smoking. Okay. And it's not as cool. dark as the... Yeah, I give it a 9.3. I well, like okay. it a lot. That's yeah. a high rating for yeah. me. That's good. Um, I give this a, a nine. I think it's it's really really good. It's it's not as complex as Moose's. It's just straightforward tobacco taste, uh, uh, Maduro taste, sweetness. Uh, again, if you like, if you come to and have it, what do you have to buy? A box of these? Ten. Ten. Or mix and match. You buy ten cigars, you're getting a, ten a five and pack. And you get a f get a pack of five, and you can taste what we're tasting. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, we got thirty. Smoke them if you get Gracias, man. You're welcome. For I the fifth one. I'll give it a nine two five. Uh, yeah, ah, there you go. Right. Nine Word two from behind the camera. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget our um, outlet show, which is next. Um, it's the weather's getting better, so and don't forget our lounges and yeah, everything. Shorts, like that. yo. It's time to She's smoke. Shirts. Yeah. Smoke happy. All right. Ciao for Life's now, too short everybody. Let's smoke cheap cigars. <laughs>